Hey, we got the rear turn signals working, so let's see if we can get the front turn signals to blink. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. Okay, so I've got these cool little uh, chrome, I don't know, retro turn signals that I bought off eBay that uh, I wanted to get hooked up today in this video. This might be a little shorter video. Uh, guys, I apologize in advance, but I've got a lot of things going on in my personal life, so not a lot of time uh, this week, but always want to make progress. And, you know, it's not about how fast you do something. It's more important that you just don't quit and you keep moving forward a little bit each day. Um, I think there's probably more than one person who thought I wouldn't ever get this far with this bike three years ago when I tore it down. Uh, I always knew I'd get there, I just had no idea when. Uh, I know I'm a busy person, so but I enjoy doing this. Um, before I get into the turn signals, there are two things that I wanted to cover here. One, you may have noticed I'm wearing a new t-shirt. I would like to give a special Attaboy Award to anyone who leaves the correct answer in the comments of this video as to what two artistic uh, concepts or expressions are going on on my shirt. So leave a comment below and uh, I'll do a special Attaboy Award for the person that gets it right. The other thing I would like to do is a quick little plug for an online friend of mine. Uh, Anders has a site, I've plugged him before, but I just love his channel. And he does not have a lot of subscribers. I personally believe he should have a lot more subscribers than he does have. Uh, I think he's at about like 813 as of this morning. And I don't know why this guy doesn't have thousands. Um, personal opinion, but what he does is he lives in Sweden and he has a Yamaha Tenere uh, adventure motorcycle and he goes all over the eastern Balkans of Europe and just shares his adventures and I love his style, I uh, love the way he presents these places and uh, you really get to feel the culture a bit with the way he does it. His channel is called Around on a Bike and please guys, if you like, uh, take, take a look at one of his videos, and if you like it, subscribe. Uh, he does it every season, and in the winter he built a, uh, what was it called? <sighs> Forget the name of the bike, but uh, it had a Husqvarna engine in it, old vintage thing from Sweden. Uh, cool build video. Anyways, um, that's my plug for Anders. Around on a bike, check it out. So, these turn signals, what I did is bought these things off eBay, we mounted them in a previous video, I'll put a link below to that if you want to catch up on the history of these turn signals, and I rubber mounted them, but these turn signals are designed in such a way that the ground to complete the circuit, or the earth in some parts of the world, is, uh, you know, the the actual body or stem of the turn signal and so to complete the circuit I had to figure out a way to wire the ground and uh, I believe on my Instagram I showed what I did but I haven't shown on YouTube. Uh, I've got a link to my Instagram page by the way below, go ahead and click that if you want to follow along there. But uh, let's take a close look at what I did here. So this might be a little bit hard to see but what I've done is taken uh, a little electrical uh, connector and I soldered it to a washer that then you know the washer is used to squish these rubber mounts that are holding it to uh, the brackets and headlight mount and there I'm grounded so I've done that on both sides and essentially what I have is two bits of wire black is the hot lead essentially, the positive, and I've got two different colors I've used for the earth over here. 
So those of you who've been following along in the back, we had light green was the hot lead for the right turn signal and black was the hot lead for the left. When we move to the front, it's the exact same thing, light green and black, with the ground being the black white. Black white throughout the entire wiring harness is the common ground or earth. Forgive the neighbor's gardener who's uh, got the weed whacker out. Sorry about the background noise. Um, looking at all of this wiring that used to be in the front headlight bucket, what we have here is our black and our light green. These are our two turn signals. I think what I'll do is just test this first with a test light to be sure of that. And the black white up here is just going into the headlight and I don't see another this brown this brown might actually be the uh, common for the turn signal let me look at this again hang on okay so the brown up here is a hot lead for whatever here's my black and white uh, that's for the turn signals and it's a double plug for, you know, obviously there's two turn signals that both need a ground. And then the black and the light and green. So right here are my turn signals. And again, I'll get the test light out and confirm that. But this brown is tail light or running light. So in the back, that's actually hooked up to the tail light. Up here in the front, it really terminated to nothing. But if you wanted to plug in some kind of accessory that needed you know, hot power, let's say I can't think of something for a GS550, how about like auxiliary lights and they would have a relay um, and you want to, you know, when you turn the ignition on then you would want power to go to a relay circuit and you could have a button on that circuit that would trigger the relay and give you a high power circuit to the actual lights. This could be a source of constant power when the ignition is on for that but that's an aside let's test these and be uh, sure that I am correct and that the wiring diagram is correct and that these are for our turn signals that we're trying to wire here okay so what I'm gonna do here is I've got a test lead or you know one of these probes that has a light in it should work the way it's set up let me test this first I guess make sure it works yeah, okay, so that lights up. Then I need to just plug one end of this into the ground. And since this plug is too big to fit into that uh, black and white kind of double uh, bullet style plug, I'm gonna just take another lead here. And never mind that I'm using red for a ground, I got it straight in my head. I just need a lead of some kind where this will fit the plug. So essentially, this guy, which is the same as this guy now, uh, to the ground, and then this is going to plug into each of the light green and black wires, and uh, we'll run our turn signal switch, and the front should blink if we're on to the right wires. So, I can reach in here, and that should be a good contact. And let me turn on the right turn signal, go back to my wiring diagram, right should be the light green, which is right here, there we go, and then by default the black should be the left, let me switch the turn signal switch and we'll go black, there we go, oh make sure you guys can see it, so there is my wiring for the turn signals. Now it's just simply plugging it in. That's a no-brainer. Okay, so right turn signal. I ran a piece of heat shrink tubing up the wire just to make it black and hide the color a bit. Um, you know, we want things to kind of visually disappear up here eventually. And so best we can, we'll make things black. And um, I just crimped a couple bullet connectors on there. Why did I crimp them rather than solder them? Couple reasons for that. One, um, 
These are LED turn signals. They do not use any power, hardly. Uh, the amount of amp draw on these lights is really, really, really small. So not a big deal as far as power flow. And then um, I may change my mind about how, how all of this is done later on and I'll, I'll want to take them off. Um, and the only bullet connectors I have, now I'm on to reason three, all right. Um, are these crimp style and, and I just don't want to solder these. I don't think it's necessary. So let's get into our, where did you go? Black common, I can't see. Here it is. Black and white is our ground. So we'll plug that in. And then for the right, it was light green. like to come together. <clears throat> okay, they're together. Let's test the right turn signal. Okay, ignition on. Right turn. Where are you? Here. Ah. What have I done? Something is missing. Let me think this through. I may not have ground running through the bike. No, no, I had that earlier. Because I don't have rear, oh, that's because I'm going left. Yeah. Human error. If you're testing the right turn signal, don't put the turn signal switch in the left position. Okay, so got turn signal up here. Let's check the back. And still working back here. And I want to interject this one point here, guys. Um, if you are switching to LED turn signals on your vintage motorcycle, make sure you replace the relay right here. Make sure, am I, do I have that in focus? Yeah. Make sure that you replace the relay with one that is intended to work with LED lights. The stock relay that comes with a 1978 GS550 will not blink uh, LED lights because the, the power flow is completely different. So, But if you end up using like LEDs on either just the rear or just the front and you switch to one of these and you've got regular old incandescents, on one or the other, so essentially a mixture of LED and incandescent, uh, these things will work for that. So make sure you switch this. Very, very cheap on eBay. And it should go without saying that the same process applies to the left. So heat shrink tubing to the correct length. Probably about there. And we'll thread that on. Got some extra wire to get rid of here. Don't run wires between wires. How it feels to be me. My whole life is a tragedy. not using the crimpers on my wire cutters because I bent them doing the uh, 8 gauge on the previous video if you recall that. Alright, so I'm not going to shrink this yet with heat. Let's plug them in see if they work. And so again the hot lead coming from the turn signal is going to go into the black wire for the left on the GS550. On my particular turn signals, the hot lead is a black wire. Whatever turn signals you buy, you know, just 
I don't know what color your hot lead is, but uh, go with whatever color is your hot lead. And then my ground wire or earth wire goes into that common dual plug. So there you have it. The double plug is the ground coming from each of the two turn signals. And then you've got light green for right and black for left is the hot leads. Let's test the other one now. Ignition on, left turn signal. Nice. Let's see if it's working on the back. Still working. Right. Still working. And still working. So that's going to be a wrap for this video, you guys. Sorry, real quick, short one, just turn signals. But hey, they're kind of a simple part of you know this overall complex system here. But they're an important part, you know, and every part matters. So uh, now we got the turn signals working both front and rear. As far as turn indicators goes, the next step is to get our, our little indicator on one of the gauges working. Um, but that'll probably just wait until we're doing the gauge in general, which I'll probably have a dedicated video to just hooking up these gauges and, and the electrical behind them. Uh, please check out Anders Around on a Bike. Uh, travel moto adventure YouTube channel um, I like it I hope you do I'd love to see him hit a thousand subscribers uh, he deserves it and um, if you like what I'm doing please give me a thumbs up oh don't forget what's going on here leave a comment below if you like what I'm doing please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become an urban monk thanks for watching